When there is a tear in the blood vessel, collagen becomes exposed. This is the collagen within the vessel. So once this is exposed, free-flowing von Willebrand factor binds to this because it's a very sticky substance. This means that any platelet floating around in the blood that is expressing the GP1B receptor will bind to von, von Willebrand. Once this happens, the platelet activates and releases ADP. ADP comes around and activates the same platelet via its ADP receptor. This causes the platelet to upregulate the GP2B3A receptor. 3A. There we go. This means that fibrinogen, which is floating around in the blood, is attracted to this receptor and binds. Now once this fibrinogen is bound to this platelet, it will also start attracting other platelets that are expressing the GP2B3A receptor. And all these platelets aggregate together and form a platelet plug. Now activated platelets will release thromboxane A2. This causes a down regulation of blood flow and at the same time an upregulation of platelet aggregation. So these are pro-aggregation factors. At the same time, the endothelium will release prostaglandin G, PGI2 and nitric oxide. These do the opposite of thromboxane A2. These are anti-aggregation factors, so they will upregulate blood flow and downregulate platelet aggregation. So the balance of these two forces will cause just the right amount of platelet plugging, which is just enough to stop the bleed, but hopefully not to occlude vessels.